Can lightning strike space? You see lightning all the time, but do you know what it really is? Clouds are full of ice crystals and water droplets, constantly moving around and constantly colliding with each other. These collisions transfer electric charge, creating a charge separation. Typically, positive charges go to the top of the clouds and negative charges to the bottom. This creates a huge buildup of voltage, but the air resists conducting until it can't. When the electric field gets strong enough, an electric breakdown happens. The air ionizes and the lightning bolt discharges the energy in a flash. But lightning doesn't always have to go down. Sometimes there are negatively charged layers of air above the cloud, up in the stratosphere. In that case, the lightning sometimes shoots up towards space, up to 50 kilometers high for so-called blue jets and up to 90 kilometers for the larger gigantic jets. And that's almost space, that's almost as high as Katy Perry went. This picture was recently taken by astronaut Nicole Ayers on board of the ISS, who happened to capture the exact moment the jet ignited. The colors are from molecules of nitrogen and oxygen that were excited by the charged particles. Pretty much the same thing that creates an aurora. These events are rare and they happen so quickly that it's difficult to catch them. Though sightings go back centuries, they were only confirmed in recent decades. And with modern cameras practically everywhere now, we are finally capturing them more often. And that's a good metric whether things actually exist. When the amount of cameras goes up exponentially, there should be more and more pictures of the thing. And if not, the thing very likely just does not exist. Subscribe for more awesome physics.